Bob Charles Sports Val, many of you will know the product's name. In short, Deer Velvet Capsules, which Sir Bob, New Zealand's golf and great really, uh, attributed his longevity to. But after three years in and out of court, Checkpoint can tonight reveal the product was the subject of a Commerce Commission investigation. It resulted in charges in 2015 against its producer, then known as Silverhorn Limited, and the company's director, Ian Carline. Interim name suppression orders lapsed today, interim suppression orders, sorry, lapsed today as a disputed facts hearing began in the Dunedin High Court. Our Otago South and reporter, Mr Timothy Brown, was there. Timothy, it's lovely to have you with us. What are the charges against the company and its director, Ian Carline? Good evening, John. Well, the, the charges relate to the Fair Trading Act and they are engaging in conduct liable to mislead the public as to the nature and characteristics of the product. So, in short, uh, these deer velvet capsules didn't contain as much deer velvet as was claimed on the label. They were topped up with carob, which uh, many of our healthy listeners out there will know is often used as a substitute for cocoa. Now, these charges are strictly against the company. There's 26 charges, 22 individual batches of, of product that had this carob in it, as well as uh, information on their website, which was also misleading. The charges against the director are charges of withholding information from the Commerce Commission. It's in another section of the Fair Trading Act. So it, it's, it's a complicated case, to say the least. Timothy, what can you tell us about guilt or innocence? Has that been established? Have people entered a plea? Where are we at? Well, talking about complicated cases, they have pleaded guilty, both uh, in Carline and the company, uh, Silverhorn Limited, which is, is trading under a different name now, have pleaded guilty to the 28 charges that are before the court. However, there is a dispute around the, the inferences being drawn by the, the prosecutor, in this case the Commerce Commission, in relation to the facts that have been agreed upon. So there is an agreed summary of facts which is now in dispute essentially. Right. Uh, OK, does the company still produce this product? I haven't seen it for ages. Now, now the, the company no longer produces the product. It, it's been, been sold to another company called Pacific Biotech, which is another in the cable company which is marketing the product now. So it's no longer in the hands of what was then known as Silverhorn Limited or Mr Ian Carline, but the product is still out there. Right. What do we know about the defendant, Tim? Well, uh, <laughs> He's known from, from the face of the ads. We can all remember him, I'm sure, from the ads several years ago where he would talk about the benefits that he got out of these pills that I believe he first came to use in the 90s. And he was involved in a prefabricated stressed concrete um, floors that, that made him his money in, in Auckland, I believe. Uh, relocated in Invercargill, found the benefits of, of these deer velvet pills and bought the company out to uh, really increase its profile and, and its market and it did a remarkable job of that, obviously got Sir Bob Charles on board. He's also stood for the ACT Party in several elections, I believe most recently uh, in, in 2011, standing in the, the Invercargill electorate, where he was the, the fifth candidate uh, up on the list, losing out to, to National, Labour, Greens and uh, Democrats for social credit. Gosh, uh, you said this was complex and it certainly sounds like it is. How long will the process take before it's fully resolved and we know exactly what uh, has occurred here? Well, that, that, I've heard from the judge that it was meant to be set down for three days, but uh, apparently the prosecutor has asked for five days. So I'm not sure how long the dispute of fact hearing is going to take. Uh, as I understand it, the, the two competing QCs, Judith Ablett Kerr, uh, for the defendant and the company, and, and uh, Mr Dixon for the Commerce Commission are, are going to sit down tonight and, and put their heads together and see what we can get settled before we get back into court tomorrow at 10am with a second day of evidence in this disputed facts hearing over an agreed summary of facts will take place. Timothy Brown. Uh, but we, we expect, uh, expect to have sentencing at the end of all of this, so I'm hoping by, by Friday we will have a clear steer on, on where this case is going. Thanks, Tim. We really appreciate it. Timothy Brown, who is our Targo Southland reporter, one of two good reporters down there, joining us live with this uh, news somewhat out of the blue.